nice one, huh? Yeah. Actually, I've not even seen the full trailer for that one. I haven't seen through. it either until that. But I'm happy I saw it. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to more trailers. Uh, I'm excited for Iron Fist 2. I, I didn't think the first one was all that bad. It wasn't great. It was yeah, a lot of people are hating on it. They I they didn't, didn't like it. That's fine. That's their opinion. But I thought it was decent. Yeah, there were some good fight scenes. I always enjoyed it very well. I, I thought it was fine. It was, there um, were like there were things I noticed, uh, particularly drops from the actor who's British, and I could tell after watching because his accent drops a couple times in the first season. Mm -hmm. Uh, the fighting needed a little more fluid fluidity, probably. I, get, I don't know. I, that's what I guess a lot of people didn't like either because uh, it was just, I don't know, maybe more uh, too choreographed. Too choreographed, yeah. It needs to be a little grawer, a little grittier, I oh. think. Because it looks like beautiful flowing fighting. But like, That's what the, I think they wanted to go for, but then maybe people just didn't see that. And maybe they just... Right, they're just like, oh, you know. It's too, and some of it is, you too know. Too pined out. <laughs> right, right. They want it to be more sporadic. I don't know. I thought it was personally decent. Uh, not bad, for sure. And, like I said, I'm looking forward to it because they created a lot of in-depth character uh, connections and, like, feelings and different things like that that they hadn't had before. So, like, or that don't have in many other <coughs> superhero shows, I feel like. I feel like there's not that like rivalry that there is between Danny mm. uh, and his friend which uh, this, the second trailer though for this uh, second season does really look good though oh yeah yeah for sure it, it looks really good uh, the, the animation and effects look better than the other one um, more fighting it looks like more fighting <laughs> doesn't which, look as choreographed it doesn't look as choreographed which I mean, some people as are much gonna as we can see yeah uh, which some people are going to like and some people aren't. You know, that's just the way that is. There's no way Can't we're going to get around. satisfy everyone. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, beyond that, I think there's a lot to be said for that as far as development. Because as, if there's a big change from one to two, that'll show forward progress. You know what I mean? the same director? I don't know. Even if it isn't, though, it would, it would show direct direction and progress no, in the... Jessica Jones director is leaving after this third season. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I'm surprised they even... do stuff for DC. I'm surprised they even got a third season. Oh, really? See, you didn't like Jessica Jones? You're, all, you're one of the few, yeah, one of yeah. the few that do not like it. I don't know about few. I know a lot of people that don't like Jessica I, Jones. I liked it. I loved it. Like, every, like most of the people I know didn't like it. Yes, I take they, it like... They said it was slow, boring... Bad character, bad character I don't know, development. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they just. I don't know. To me, like said, and these are people who watch NCIS. Oh, and okay. They, yeah, so well, it's not because it's a detective. That's show. what I was gonna say. I was no, like, they watch and they've mm. watched them for twenty plus years. So. But in NCIS all, is. Uh, NCIS. I, why is that even still around? Like those are. Sh you guys see that? That's see, what when I'm they're saying, talking though. about those shows, then I have to question your. I don't know though because those shows actually have a following and years on the air, whereas Jessica but that's Jones. The, thing. the same thing with cops that also has a following, but you're why right? Was but that's it... a good. That's a that just means it has a good idea. A good like I said, you can bash it all you want, but at the end of the day, what matters? It matters that it can sell and that it can yeah. keep selling. So they can keep going. So even but though cops, I guess you could be bad and keep selling at the same time, though. That's uh, that, okay. relatively though. Can you? You're not though. I mean, you're doing what you're made to do. Yeah. That's the thing. People are always like, "Well, critically, that's not good." Critically to who? To the critics, because they know something specifically. Would not really, if the basis of a product is to make money, which every product's basics is to make money, then the ultimate goal is to sell, and to keep selling. So if it only sells for a little while, it's not good. No matter yeah. what. But America's Funniest Home Videos. Is that bad or is it good? It's been on it's, four it's years. It's bad good. That's, what, that's, that's my thing. thing. It's bad good. That <laughs> It's so bad that it's good to the people that they'll just keep watching it. That's yeah. the thing. And see, that must mean that for me that just says it's good enough. If that, if they would rather watch that over your highly well, whatever, that you think is a well-constructed, well-thought-out show, yeah, obviously not that good. Not yeah, hitting the markets that you're supposed to be hitting. Because like I said, as much as you want to be this artistic... Uh, you know, oh, I make things that are so great. At the end of the day, uh, you don't sell, you don't get a second season. You don't yeah. get another chance. Uh, you know, that's just, you know, Watchmen. They ain't never going to make another Watchmen movie because that one they didn't did the make show, money. They're doing the show finally, right. though. But only because of other things, not because the Watchmen movie made money. 
because it didn't. Yeah, that movie it didn't was make just, shit. I didn't even watch that one. And, and personally, I believe that's critically an amazing movie. Yeah, that's see, my only Zack Snyder film I like. But guess what? As far as practically, it's a piece of shit. Didn't sell. Didn't do its job. And I and I say that about most of the cult classics. Like I hate that word, cult classic. That means that some people really liked it. Very small yeah. portion. There's always going to be that. Right. Yeah, but that's, but that's your, right. Like that, but then who's, who's matter? So is that good? Or is that just a small portion of that population that finds it good? Th- that's the thing. If, Same thing if with you're Evil going Dead, on a, there's only that small. I'm one of those I feel like small there's a deep. I don't know. I think I, most of the people I meet like Evil Dead. Mm. Now, they don't love Evil Dead like I, I, I do. I love Evil Dead. But most of the people I like. And maybe not uh, as far as the new series or whatever, oh, but, so but well, I thought it was great. I'm so but, sad that they But most that. people, yeah. But he didn't want to do it anymore. He's done. Well, they, well, he, he was going to keep going, but it, what stopped him was that Stars was like, yeah, we're done. And then at that point, he was like, well, you know what, then it, I'm done too then. It, it is, and it's and about Netflix, money. And ne- they, like, people are like, go fuck, go Netflix, go Netflix. And they would have done, but then I heard that they actually didn't pick it up because they picked up Lucifer. That might be why, and honestly... Lucifer, in my opinion, is probably a better show. <laughs> I see. I, I so like said that they did that though, and then like really, Last Man Standing. So, like, like, yeah, they I, wouldn't, man. I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't pick that one. And I, I like Tim Allen as an actor, not as a person. I think he's a piece of shit. Yeah, but I like him as an actor. I think he's a funny guy. He plays a funny Republican. I used to always watch Home Improvement. Yeah, <laughs> I, I watched Last Man Standing too. I thought it was funny. Is it funny enough to beat out Lucifer or Evil Dead? Nee, probably not. But that being the point, right? So you can't have a cult classic. That's another cult, thing. right? Like really, that, that the only reason why I thought that was brought back is because the fans brought it back. Oh I yeah, think. and and like I said, as long as you have a decent enough portion. Now, like I said, does that mean it's the you know good? Yeah. Uh, objectively, subjectively, it depends on your criteria, right? Yeah. So like, and that's the same for any movie. There's very few movies I would even say that fall under the categories everybody likes. You know what I mean? There aren't many critically good movies and commercially successful movies the mm-hmm. ones that are are considered like box office blockbusters super troopers <laughs> yeah that one was definitely on the way but it was they're like we didn't even think we could make a third one but you, you guys, you guys just keep back. letting yeah, us you do brought it. Us back and i think that's the big point is like as long as it sells and they're getting the fourth good. one now I, they just keep getting money man they just, <laughs> and i didn't even like the second one honestly the way it started i, I thought it was i think dumb. i watched the second one now that i think about it it's on netflix if you want to check I'll it out i watched that it's, yeah the first one i did like a lot or maybe it's not on netflix maybe that's why i didn't check it out for a while first one was great i love those guys they make great stuff they did beer fest they did yeah that's that. right they yeah did the, you could tell it's that same kind of comedy oh, they have, they, and they're, they're the, the same, same actors, actors too yeah, and yeah, i think yeah. about it yeah it's the same troupe they did another one with uh, like a what restaurant yeah, yeah yeah which one was that I one can't. i can't remember that one either though it had that one big black guy though that they uh that unfortunately i think he passed away oh you're talking back. about from green mile yeah they had him in there and i just remember that one but so that's the whole thing is like so what is critically and successfully good theoretically anything good enough to get a second yeah it's good good which so jessica jones that's third it's third it was good I didn't like it. Did you watch second season? I did. I watched the whole second season. I just I didn't it was so like stupid. the ending, though. I just... All right, so one... And I just... You know what? Point, the one thing that I didn't uh, like was the mother, too. I just didn't like the actor. I think that was a bad it. actor. They could have got somebody else, and I would have been more really happier good. with the I whole show. I don't know what it was. Honestly, the whole direction was kind of meh. Like, at first, it was kind of interesting, and then the glamour pulled back almost immediately. It's like, okay, you got someone who can do the same thing, whatever, whatever, whatever. But for me, what really tore that apart that season was the, in the ending. Like, I don't even think you could call a superhero show anymore the way she acts. She's not a superhero. She's not even an anti-hero. You don't break into people's houses and murder them and call yourself any kind of hero. Yeah, I mean the Punisher, but I don't think he calls himself any kind of heroes. <laughs> Which, speaking of, the uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider has been pretty good last couple weeks yeah they have it actually has real been real good that that one at least i caught up in the second issue where he takes Thanos to the bar i just thought that was so funny it's like what are you doing here you ought to i'm here to watch the single greatest mistake ever made in history (laughs) (laughs) that was it was a it was a good show good show um or good show good 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 book book. um but yeah as far as the the netflix one it's 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 rubber me because like i you'll get everyone on different sides of the fence for different things like so luke cage right i think critically luke cage is one of the better ones 
However, yeah, we still haven't actually finished up the second this? season. Oh, second season. Let's get second season. First season, to tell you the truth, I don't even think I finished it. I think I have only three more episodes oh, to wow. go with that and then finish it off. I think because it switches um, the villain. Villains yeah. like that one is the big. They they had that problem with that and for uh, Iron Fist. Oh, that was another. Or oh, that was the Defenders, wasn't it? Defenders did it too. The same. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. The Iron, Iron Fist, Fist did the same thing. Yeah, because I do. Iron remember Fist that. did it more than everybody else. I think that's what really pissed me off about Iron Fist. You were just like, "Who's the enemy? This is the enemy. No, this is the enemy." Well, we brought in a new guy for three episodes. <laughs> Never mind. It's this person again. And it's just like, can I just have a real enemy? And just <laughs> keep him here for <laughs> a little keep while. <laughs> like, can I have a two season episode? Like, what about the Kingpin? I love that in Daredevil too. You that know, was a good one. Yeah, uh, man, you gotta follow one. him back through the system and shit. Mm-hmm. And the great thing too is that's such a mirror of like what the Kingpin, uh, somewhat a mirror of like his original thing. Like they had just released a comic the other day, or not an actual comic, the strip the other day. I just noticed we've been watching for comments, but I don't think he's... <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I was looking. But, uh, honestly, I think it's, the Kingpin really is summed up well in that, because they have, like, a description of his actions, like, after originally getting in prison in one of them, and then he just totally, uh, just fucks somebody, people up, you know what I mean? But he's low-key, he never, he's never on the front oh. lines, he's the Kingpin, he, he is definitely... You know, calling the shots and not necessarily having to do stuff himself. And then the whole thing with Punisher, I don't know. Daredevil 2 is still probably my premier comic book season of, like, any any show. The first season was good. The second season was... I like Daredevil season 2 the most. I do think you? it was... I think that one, as far as similarities to a comic book, is the closest of any show ever made in the comic book structure. He The way that they introduce the Punisher... And Elektra is so similar to comic oh, that's books. that's right. They did introduce them in there. And Well, and they slip them in real smooth. Like, they're part of the story. They develop in, then they leave for a couple episodes. You keep track of them in the side, but they leave. They're not part of the main story, and then they reintegrate later, mm-hmm. which is what I love. Like, comic books, you don't go more than ten episodes without a guest appearance, or ten chapters without some guest appearance mm-hmm. from another character. That's just how comics work. You know, and they have since... 60s or 70s I want to say when people started doing team ups and big companies actually came together so like I don't know I feel like that definitely has something to impact it well it's, uh, how many more like about a week actually for no two weeks till Iron Fist 2 mm-hmm. it's ninth, I so think let me check that or out September I did at least finish Iron Fist so I can watch number two yeah, I don't know. Iron Fist is probably one of, the, except for Jessica Jones, which I really didn't enjoy, is like the weakest of the Netflix shows for me. It goes Daredevil, then Luke Cage, then Iron Luke Fist, Cage. <laughs> and then bottom is Jessica Jones. Yeah, I forgot. I, just I forgot Punisher so though. I got I got a slip Punisher probably either in between Daredevil and Luke Cage or Luke Cage and yeah. And I see. I think that's why I didn't just like. It's so hard for me to like either sympathize or feel compassionate for the characters in the show a lot of times except for what's his name Michael My, what's his the, the, her neighbor her, the oh, fucking crackhead oh yeah, yeah yeah um except for him I feel bad for him he's the only one though everybody else is and a fucking I, piece of garbage well, that deserves her everything that best thing. friend that turned into that in second season yeah I know that's what I'm saying. Like every like in the first season, Patty was probably like the best, and I was looking forward to Wildcat. They can't even do Wildcat at this point. She's a totally different fucking character I, now. Well, that's what I think they did that though, so that she has these powers now, so she could be yeah. Wildcat. It wasn't even that though. It's the way she acts. Yeah, I know. What you she mean. doesn't act like the character no. of Patty at all. So they destroyed her character in the last half of season yeah, two. I didn't like she her. is irredeemable at this point. <laughs> Literally, like, and I think that's my problem is every fucking person in that show is a piece of shit, and I hate them. I think that's and I have they... and I have no reason to root for them yeah. or think good things for. Like, I'm literally just sitting there like, you're an idiot. I hope you get what's good. you deserve. This, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> the the only time I didn't don't feel like that was in season one when Killmonger or not Killmonger when uh, Killjoy. Killgrave. Killgrave. Grave. There's so many f- kills in the... It's like, Killmonger, Killjoy, Killgrave. Which one is it? No, but when Killgrave, uh, Purple Man, it's that's my, a, easier to... I like that villain a lot. I think that's, that was, that was the redeeming villains. part. He he is the best villain, though. 
Except for Bushmaster now. I have, dude, Bushmaster is so fucking good. Which one's that one? Here? Luke Cage season see, two. See, that's the I need okay, to see. He is by far, in my opinion, the best villain out of the Netflix Marvel series. Okay, I'll have to see. He's them. probably better than most up. of the the DC comics villains too, except for uh, the Reverse Flash. Originally, Barton in season one, he might be the all-time greatest villain in uh, comic book series history. You know okay. what I mean? Like as far as the live action, he just portrays that character so. Uh, brilliantly and they write him so well in the story that it's like it's so good i see i have to catch up i think i did watch the first episode and then i have just not watched yeah so you tonight. wouldn't even gotten to bushmaster i think he's like episode two he shows up or episode three and he's a bat that comes like a bat out of hell man it's and it's an intense season too i will say that that whole season is lit like on another level uh and in addition i feel like they they uh close up a lot of things better they man that whole season was actually so fire i want to go back and watch it again <laughs> just thinking about it like i haven't stopped to think about it really and like thinking back on it like all of the character decisions and the progressions the only thing about season two of luke cage that is weird and that i can get say without really giving away too much plot is there's like a relationship between shades and mariah and it's so fucking weird just it's awkward i don't okay. know why it's got it's probably the age difference between them that gets me which it shouldn't, you know, age is just a number, but it's just like, I see it, I'm like, and yeah. it, it all, I think it also just felt kind of forced. Like, they gave a better explanation for it later, but in the in the first part, it kind of, kind of felt forced. Um, well, I guess now we move on forward to... Artist Spotlight, I guess? Yeah, we can go there. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, so first let's tag, I guess, um, uh, Mints in it. I have it on here, which is good. It irritates me. Oh, to do the transition? That, but I'm I'm just trying to. Oh, you're trying to tag, tag him? him, but it's not like tagging. Well, I always tag him after, right? Yeah, we'll just tag him in the after one. So what we're gonna do now is showcase a local artist that uh, we've had the pleasure of uh, sharing some of his stuff and doing. Uh, we will do that now. We're transitioning over. Uh, so this is made by uh, Meats Illustrated. Uh, I believe it's Jason Meats. Uh, and he's a local Colorado uh, artist who does uh, what I would call chibi-esque character designs. If I had to compare it to anything, they would also be co considered like, uh, in Marvel, they would call them like... Uh, x-men babies or so that they're also considered like baby versions of the characters uh i really like the style uh i love anime and so chibi stuff like this and it's only part chibi and these is just amazing like having them be little kids and it's so adorable um you can see that he does a lot of <coughs> different stuff there's a lot of marvel and dc up here however he does like tons and tons and tons of different ones like i there's customs he does stuff uh on to, on uh, request at the comic cons like you can just have him do a little okay, quick nice. sketch um because he can also do those line art sometimes uh, i know there's a venom pikachu somewhere in the slideshow that is like one of my favorites of his there's a ton that he does so, like there's a little colorado gremlin <laughs> yeah that's one of his old uh fire things and hopefully he'll you know see this jason that said that's a little picture it's uh, got him pointing at the 13th and uh, the other thing I want to say is that like he does a really good job at detailing and I guess filling in these basic line colors. Like they're they themselves are really clean and well formed and well thought out. Mm -hmm. And then in addition, I think one thing he's really good at is uh, how do I say it? like putting their emotion. He gets the 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 expression of the character on very easily. Like, he does not have a oh, difficulty. There yeah, there it is, the Venom Pikachu. So he does custom work and custom covers. That's a Venom cover uh, that he did. Uh, that's a T Negasonic Teenage Warhead for an X-Men cover. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's a funny one. They're, they're all extremely hilarious and awesome. There's Sca Thanos getting his Infinity Skittles. <laughs> uh, you know, got all the got to get all the colors, the rainbow. 
And then back to Pikachu. These are on random, so I'm sure we'll see a couple uh, multiple times. We probably put up a good 20 in here, maybe. And, uh, yeah, I, I honestly really love it. I'd love to get some personal and custom stuff done from him. I don't know what his prices are, but you can check him out at that link uh, that is listed at the bottom of the screen, facebook.com slash meets illustrated. Uh, that'll take you straight to his page. Uh, I'm sure he also has Instagram stuff. You can catch him at like Colorado Springs Comic Con, which was recently going, and some other ones. I'm not sure what his next stop is. I do know that he's doing more, and he's constantly doing stops. Uh, realistically, he's uh, you can contact him. Like he's a he's a chill guy. I've talked to him a couple times at different cons. He seems real nice. He sells buttons and shirts and. And a bunch of stuff, and we just thought it would be nice for, you know, us to give a, uh, artist, local artist, spotlight. Yay! <laughs> and, uh, we'll, we'll get better at these as the weeks go on, obviously. Uh, we'll get more details and more stuff. We'll have more video things. But really, that's something we're trying to do, is give a little shout-out to local artists. Uh, we also, we also have Izzy, who does comic reviews on Wednesdays, and we release memes and stuff every day guys so hopefully you know you check out meets and check out some of his stuff check out some of our stuff we got a patreon i think he's got stuff for sale you know spread the love local love is always a good thing if you're around colorado uh you know there's a lot of comic book stuff around here we do have you know mile high which is like the biggest comic book store in, in the you know, world they're yeah, saying I think, uh, that which i, I think they believe. Have, at this point i think they have because they've been uh, upgrading for a while yeah i mean when you do go to the comic book store you don't go to the warehouse it's a warehouse yeah they literally, have four they literally do have a little warehouse to be fair they're making mad moves all the time as well so it's like buying collections all the time oh yeah um in addition to that uh we got some stuff to talk about i guess in comics and movies and stuff i guess we'll do an august review uh basically the august review is there wasn't shit going on in august <laughs> Nothing, there was guys. Just, like uh, Slenderman, the, uh, uh, Christopher Robin, Happy Time Murders. And I still didn't get to see that yet. Me either. I was supposed to go with my cousin yesterday, but uh, something happened. So, uh, but regardless, I still do want to see it. I think those all are going to be pretty decent movies. Uh, I heard decent stuff about Christopher Robin. Yeah, that was a good movie. I liked it. That's what I heard. I enjoyed it very much. I heard it was like a, definitely like a deeper movie too. So it was. Yeah, it was for sure deeper. But like I, I and I like um, is Edward Norton. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Like him. I like him. Ever since I seen Big Fish, favorite actor ever since then. He's a good actor. Um, too, and Big Fish is one of my favorite movies. I love Big Fish. <laughs> I like Big Fish a lot. So I just love the storytelling in there. It's just really good. It's a really good and, hyperbole. Of yeah, life. and then just him being the act, the main actor, just oh, perfect. He does everything so amazing in that whole movie. Yeah, it's it's re it's really good. He's a very good actor. That's... They just need to do Obi Wan now with him. Right. <laughs> All right, well, then I guess so comics then, so you, uh, we can't really talk about Infinity War 2 because you didn't read that one, but there was no. some crazy stuff that did happen in that one, so you'll be pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. And I was just going to be whoa today, at the very end. Like, That's kind of what really I think. That I think they're doing a good job in setting up the surprise factor. Um, and then you'll kind of see how they're setting up for the Infinity Warps. The warps, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm You'll see how it happens. You'll see that's in the, the other second one. issue that's reading it, you're uh, like, oh, okay. Uh, they did the life of Captain the Justice League. Honestly, and I'm going to be to say this as a general thing that is in no way meant to insult anyone, and everyone's entitled to their own opinion, DC's getting their ass kicked as far as story writing goes right now. Um, and it, even if that doesn't reflect in sales, I usually that's just because DC only has comic sales to show. That's the only thing they really got. To, they got the animated movie sales and the comic yeah, sales. They just came out with that Death the Superman movie, right? Yep. Yeah, and they're doing it in comic go, form. I think I'm going to go watch that tonight. Yeah, Can I'm going to check it out too. I heard it was really good. Um, especially because like it follows what? the original Death yeah, see, of that's Superman. why I like watching those animateds because they, are, don't they always depict a lot of the comic stories? Oh yeah, they do a real pretty, good job Pretty, like, getting, accurate, though. Yeah, yeah, they're very, very like, accurate. the Judas, uh, contract was pretty set with, like, the... There was a little change there. What's her name? They Slade changed a lot and, of the updated... Oh, well, Damien wasn't in there, right? That, that was the thing. They updated that one for character cast and changed it. Otherwise, the basics of the story was very, very much the same. I heard that's the story that messed up uh, Tara's reputation from there on out. Like, after she had that weird 
love relationship with Slade, it kind of like t- tarnished her. It's one and of those nobody things. Nobody wanted to write her for quite a while, and yeah. nobody knew what to do with her. To you don't make know her because it's they they really screwed the character, and they do it to a lot of characters. They just they're like, well, this character's a villain, and I've chosen that, and then they don't think about the repercussions of that as far as the story goes, and like. Yeah. Because, like, I, I'm always getting the Terra love on the Beast Boy Raven th- thread chats and shit. And I'm just like... Did you know her real love interest? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying, but Judas' contract proves that Terra is the worst Teen Titan of all time. That's like... Seriously, though, it's really a bad showing all around, too, because there's, like, several chances where they're like, well, if, you know, we can help you and... You know, we're fans like now. Just the thing, like, like they put that in a comic book, you know, like I was so surprised. Like, oh, they did a lot she, she though like back 15 then. In the book, and she's supposed to be, and I think she's like supposed to be like 30, 40, 40 years yeah, old. He's like 40 or 50 years old. He's already white haired at that time, if I remember correctly. Um, but it's, I don't know. They did a lot of questionable stuff in DC back in the day. They had Speedy hooked on fucking heroin. Yeah, if you've never heard that one, the Green oh, Arrows. That one. Yeah, Green Arrows sidekick Speedy was like hooked on heroin for a while. Um, I just read this one the other day. They had a character called Snowfire. Who is, uh, cocaine. Powered by Kill King. Yeah, got oh, stronger. He's not a Marvel character, though. No, it? that's I, DC. There's a Marvel character that's the same I name. I think there is. I forgot the name, though. It's a s- Snow something, Snow too. Snowbird or Snowstorm or some shit. Yeah, yeah, there's the same exact character on Marvel that's... It's, it was the whole drug kick of the 80s where everyone's like, drugs are bad, even though half the comic writers probably took drugs in the 60s. I guarantee you they were smoking weed and acid and no oh, to come up with those crazy ideas i guess i said i guarantee you everything kirby did for fucking uh elder gods and doctor strange was done on fucking acid dude there's no way <laughs> that have you seen those pictures they're crazy they are you, you don't draw that shit sober yeah you can't even imagine some of that stuff sober i know because i'm sober no i'm just kidding but, but it's definitely uh looking good i i will say this the uh like I said, as far as DC go, there's only a couple ones that I can follow. And before anyone says anything like this, I've been following since Rebirth start and following the ones that were worth following for me. Like I said, personal opinion, whatever. And they've been dropping lower and lower and lower every week. At the start, Batman. there were like 10 or 12 books worth following. Like Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Superman. Like there was a good set of 10 or 12 books that were just solid, solid writing, week to week, good story plot. And I don't know where it hopped off or where it stopped, but... Probably a couple months ago, I started dropping titles. Probably like two or three right around the time of uh, Dark Knight's Metal. When that was like really in like medium swing, they just, I think they dropped quality on all their other books to focus on that. And then they also like dropped a lot of their plot devices and lines to like mesh in there. And it screwed so much stuff up, dude. So screwed up. And even their new plots coming from like No Surrender, or not from No Surrender, from uh, No Justice and like you know uh all that crap is like it's such a open weird storyline that has not gotten to where it should be as far as like nailing it down in position it, yeah, I yeah i was i was watching a video from that comic book university and he was talking about issue too and he's like he just praised him for this event he's just like this is how you do an event <laughs> like this is come on guys like this is perfect hands down oh. good writing um like it was good. Dark Knight's Metal was a good event, but it wasn't. Yeah, Secret just, Wars was ten times better. No, that that's pretty good. But I am loving Infinity. War. Like I just love where the story is going right now. I think now. Infinity Wars is going to be yeah. better than Dark Knight's Metal was. Honestly, Dark Knight's Metal was good at the start, and then it trailed off. off into trash. And I it's very. I read that Batman uh, Damned one that's coming out here soon. Batman. Oh, you mean the new, the new, new one, the spinoff? Yeah, it's supposed to be like a spinoff of what though? It's the remember. the joke. It's the Batman who laughs. There we go. Okay. And uh, he's probably the like they had good characters, but he's the only one they're gonna keep, and the only one honestly kind of worth keeping. Um, I don't know. It, there was a ton of different it's things for wrong. Some characters in Spider Gaten. That's There's what I'm gonna be. Some like I said, that, that's up. and that's you my other thing. Some. People are like, they're like, these are so good ideas of doing this, this, and that. And I'm like, didn't didn't Marvel do this a couple years ago? <laughs> I feel like this has been done before. <laughs> just, just don't. Sorry, they had the Electroverse and then the Spiderverse and then how many you know how many multiversal stories are we really going? And don't get me wrong, DC had Kingdom Come and Earth Two and shit way back in the day, but oh, that was the um, like the their old stories, yeah. 
with the Kingdom Come was supposed to be the medieval times, right? No, no, no. Oh. That one's the uh, like it's like the super realistic, dark kind of version of like what would happen in the like Superman outlives everybody and goes into the sun for ten thousand years okay. to become pro su which that character doesn't have any feats either for everyone bull bitching about him he doesn't do jack crap everyone's like he could do all this shit no 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 they don't show him doing none of that <laughs> not even a single thing it's just it's ridiculous on some of them but yeah i don't know i'm very not excited for dc stuff right now i think the waiting on doomsday clock has killed that series everyone's like it's so much worth the wait no, no, no. It is not worth a two, three month wait for that 40 page comic. It's decent. Is that it's how good. big the event is? 40 page? Uh, they're each 40 to 50, I think, and then it's 12 chapters. I wonder how many but years. it's 12 chapters done across two years. Jesus. So it's every two months chapters. at the max. That's a long time to be reading for an event. Like I said, I'm six. We're a year and a Like, look at Infinity we're, Wars. We're over a year in almost. And I'm on chapter six. And it's really not that... Like, I hate to say it. People are like, this is so... It's really not that good. No Surrender or Quicksilver is better than most of Do Doomsday Clock. As far as writing and, like, storytelling. Like, realistically, it really is. Because, like, they're so focused on trying to imitate the Watchmen style while making these, like, mm -hmm. crazy dark connections. And it's like, you got... you have already halfway through and you haven't done shit. There's literally nothing that's been done of any importance at all. The one that they Marvel has for sure though under their reins that they was a good uh, call was Donny Cates because oh yeah Cates is killing Venom everything stuff. yeah everything he touches is like, amazing. Web of Venom now is coming out. That's where like that's supposed to be the uh, first symbiotes like they used him as uh, soldiers back in Vietnam. And yeah, I can't wait to see that. Looks good. And then they're gonna finally have the first toast finally here which coming is up cool soon. Looking, I'm I can't wait to see more about the first see the host first, and the see final his, host. Uh, his appearance already? They showed it off already. Oh, they showed, uh, Noel. Uh, no. No, 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 not him, but the first host. Cause there's oh, another... the first, first host. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. I thought you were talking about the first host as, a, as according He's to a Celestials. It's a Kree. Really? I think so. That'd I, be cool. It looked like a Kree when I, when I read it. You know, I'd really like it better if it was a scroll. That'd be cool. I just, yeah, I like the idea You know what's of... funny? It was that he was a scroll in the beginning and then all the scrolls are coming in to the their blast. I can remember they were j jump hopping a ship or something, maybe the pirate. And then uh, one scroll turned around and shot all the other ones. And then there was a Kree. That's funny, because that's what I I don't know why I like the idea. I think I like it because of the shape shifting of the Kree mixed That'd be with the cool. uh, with the symbiote's ability to shift forms. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it... <laughs> so that's gonna come out, and then. Supposedly Carnage is coming back here with some stuff. I'm interested, but they did some stuff with him on the last run and didn't finish it right. No, they well they finished it, but it just wasn't. It like, wasn't right. It yeah, wasn't I know good. What you mean. They started it off well. Where was, yeah, they, he was like a coal, and there was gonna yeah, it sounded like it was gonna. They did introduce that new character Razor. Yeah, I'm and still. then that was it. But then after, but there was a whole thing that it was, and they did a good job. And the then first they didn't really like the art to me. The what really messed it up was that. Where they were like, oh, he's gonna change into this new form, but when they changed it, it didn't like the art didn't translate well to me to right. like, make it feel like he was like transformed into it, something, yeah. And it felt kind of like the same. He was just a, still the same carnage, and he just looked a little maybe beefier. How did he like had different color schemes? Or something, or something like they made his like yeah. And then his... he was like immune to his weaknesses, which gave him a big thing. But then they like took that away. They had him involved in the the poison incident as the. Then that's where he died. Yeah, right. Because right now, yeah, he's dead right now until... Right, because they killed him with the... Because uh, they said whoever's in the, the suit dies, dies right. at that point. So, But they said he's coming back somehow. So yeah, we'll which I, I'm interested to see. I don't know. The one I'm looking forward to and I've liked so far, but I want to see more from it, is the uh, Century comic. That just came out. I haven't read that third issue, too. I haven't read the out. third one yet. But I, kn I stopped on two where they revealed it was Scout. That was fucking stealing the machine or whatever. That was good. So I'm looking forward to that. My big thing is people are always like, and I'm a little pissed about it too. They're not using the power. They're, they're focused so much on the mental and agoraphobic fight. Which is cool. I like it, that. I like it, but they, you got to show more sentry power. You think? 
they I did don't know. it Jeff in the first Lemire's one. Is more of that storytelling kind of guy. Right, but he you gotta do like both. To... Yeah. You can't do one. Well, it's really the same Black as a Panther movie. or Black Panther. His Black Hammer run. They don't really show off their powers. It's more of the story. They of who still they are do it though. That's the thing. They a little sh- bit. They, they have. It. I know what you're saying, and that was one of the things in I think Black Hammer that's that didn't, so good about it. Is it that it's, it's very more good. of this. It's like a superhero that's the thing, family, you can do, but they're like a re, the rejects of the super yeah. uh, family. But the thing is, like, you can do both without sacrificing. That's the funny. It's funny that Black Hammer does so well because you know what it reminds me of. Is ecstatic. I don't know if you've ever. It's a fucking. It's a shoot off of X Force, and it's basically this. It's the shittiest team of X Men ever that only do it for fame and money and fortune. And they're not affiliated. Marvel. Yeah, it's Marvel. I think that was one of their. uh, Oh, it's their Secret Wars tie-ins, wasn't it? Oh no, this is old. Oh, this is old. old. Okay. Oh, but maybe I think they redid it though. They might have redone some of it. They did some Dead Girl stuff. They did some of the Dead Girls. uh, uh, Was that Zombie Girl? Dead Girl? I think it's Dead Girl. They did some Dead Girl tie-in stuff, but realistically, they didn't do too much for mm-hmm. them in the new Secret Wars. They were dead before that. They're like 2003 to 2010, mm-hmm. I think, or something like that. Not, not even that long, but that's like the area or general time scheme. And so, like, uh, which one is it? Uh, they actually made a reference to X Static in the most recent Deadpool movie because they had Zeitgeist. And z- they didn't. I could. I didn't recognize him because they put a bad actor. That to like physically resemble him mm-hmm. they just picked somebody and then gave them his powers and name but it, it's a reference to one of the original leaders who was zeitgeist he was able to uh, uh, vomit and uh, burn shit with his vomit or whatever I don't remember some shit that's oh Secret that's acid. right I remember yeah from and the... so uh, like I said but the X, it's funny that they mentioned him and put him in there but it's like such a light tie to ecstatic because they are like literally the worst super fucking group of X-Men ever and honestly most of their powers like are trash like El Huapo like is part blob, of that Blob oh no like worse Blob is pointless to worse me. he's at least his body is physically immune to most damage is that all it really is yeah can, he's, they he's never blob talk of, about he's like, a blo- he well that's do. the thing they, if they talk about it you just gotta find the chapters they do yeah but like some of the stories I've read they like they seriously don't really use anything to his he, he doesn't do shit but that's not because he has no powers it's because he's a lazy Blob I said, re- think about his character. When does he is he helpful? Never. That's exactly. Said, the that's only his time character. they ever used him was when the, the old man Logan now. Yeah, that recent one. Pick up, so. Right, and he didn't do anything either, there either. He's like literally just going to do something anybody could have done. I didn't find him. He's dead. <laughs> he's like, uh, he, oh, I found him. He's dead. <laughs> that was a really fucking. That was. Crazy that was a issue. good uh, story. They uh, and I've been. I'm I'm sad because it's not. A good overall story. It's a good mini story in the story. Yeah, you know just what I mean? yeah, just. But, but even though it's part of the overall gotta have, arc, well, they, they, there was their overall arc was trash. Is the problem that whole arc with Kingpin overall? First of all, it led nowhere, did nothing. It led to the Bullseye arc, which led to nothing. Well, that's I think everything is. And they're though, that issue is Everything is leading to nothing that he's trying like, to do. Like it is in his. But that's the thing. They had the the original arc, which they basically just chopped off. Where the there where he was trying to get back to his original reality. Yeah, and that's and that's just kind of weird. Stop. Now that I think about they just, it, like right, isn't now that that, that bothers me? And and like now he's like dying, and like trying to like get back to his reality before he dies because the adamantium's poisoning him and the regenix. That's the thing. They just took so many side shoots on that old man Logan one that I had trouble maintaining the main story. You have to have an overarching Well, and it just direction. sucks just because then they had so many writers already write this story over the course of 30 issues already. That's the thing. They just keep they switching. They had Jeff Lemire, and... which we sh- they should have just kept him for the longest time. He, he only really did, did, like... He did the best ones, He only though. did, like, eight issues. Yeah, but they were, like, done. the best eight issues were the first eight. Yeah, those are good. It's, like... it's That's the thing. And it's I like the art that was done in that, yeah. too. I'm not... I, even now, the art's not bad. bad. But, no, I just... Uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I, now that I think about it, yeah, because they kind of did make it where he was at first. Uh, He's looking for the baby banner and trying to like get back to his original reality, and there was this whole... Well, now they're after this, they're going to end it in October, but then they have another 12 issues of it to come out again with him to finally Finish have it. it where he goes back into Which, the wasteland. Right now, they're already like doing some weird... And I, I don't know. Like I really liked it, but that's one of those ones where I almost... The only reason I, I read it is because it's old man Logan. Yeah. It's, it's honestly not necessarily worth following anymore. But they're finally going to finish his story, though. Did you check out the Multiple Man uh, comic? 
I've all, I've only read to two, but I haven't read to three yet. I didn't read the newest one, but this it's just I thought I thought it was funny. It's such stupid little multiple man story, just like it always is. Oh yeah, like how they how he ended up being alive still because he was. Uh, not Jamie Prime or whatever. So but I can't remember what happened. Something happened. He's just like... one of the clones with a half life, and so he's supposed to like be dying because like they can't survive without the original Jamie or whatever. Sorry, I just can't check that because it was looked like it was leaking. I see. Yeah. No, I do. Yeah, I remember too. Yeah, there was something weird how they brought him back to life, and I was like, oh, and, okay. And it's yeah. There's this whole thing, but now he's like doing the future travel. Or, he, or no, he travel. thought he was the real one, right? No, that was another one. He, they all think they're the real James. You know, that, oh, that's the thing. It's like sworn they thought he was like, oh, I thought I was the real one, but he was like, no, you're not. You're just maybe he did, but I don't think so. Not in this one. I, remember. I remember them saying, "It's like, so you're not the real Jamie. I am the real Jamie. I'm sorry, you're not Jamie Prime." Yeah, see, that's but that's said. not it's not the same thing. They all consider themselves Jamie, but only yeah. only the first Jamie is Jamie. Did Prime. you read that man versus Wasp yet? No, I still need to watch. I gotta check it out. Because that one's by uh, Out uh, Out Ewing. I can't even say that. Okay. That's the guy who did the Ultimates. Really? I'll the check it out. The newest ones I've been reading. I like him. He does real good. So anything he touches, <laughs> I, gotta he, read. I I've been doing that too. Anything Souls touched, I I try to take a good look at because I really enjoyed his Vader run. Uh, and Vader's run is doing pretty. Vader is that way too. It's gotten to this point where you're just kind of like, what? What's the direction? We're not. There's well now because they just. I was reading the newest one where now it's kind of where, the the this is right where the Clone Wars or the Clone uh, troops are phasing them out. That's where I'm starting at right now. Yeah, they're well, they're, yeah, because the right now they should have been just the the first chapter of his run is right after Order sixty six. That's, That's where he starts that run. And then you just keep Maybe going the first there. one, the first Dark Vader series I ran wasn't him then. Uh, the original one, I think, is either is Kate's. No, I don't think he wrote that. He didn't There's, start getting big for quite a while it's, until... No, it's, who is it? Dark Vader 2015. Who did this one? Maybe this one is... Come on, come on. Pull it up. I know you can do it. And then, like, Weapon X-22, I have to read. That's... Uh, yeah, I've seen I that he has this classic. Uh, he has this classic outfit back. Oh, that's right. It was Laroca who did this one. Dylan and Laroca. Okay. See, I knew. Yeah. There we go. Is this the one? Yeah. This one is probably the best Darth Vader run of all time. See, I haven't read that but one. Oh, one, that one. That one's yeah, the one this I was is reading. 2015. That's the one I was reading. Yeah, see, that the one, one. The new one is by Soul. The new Darth Vader is. I think that's the one I started on now too. Soul. Uh, yeah. Soul is doing yeah, the Yeah, that's the one I'm, that's the one I just yeah, started. This one starts right after Order 66. Yeah. That's and right. He, just, where yeah. he's his very first mission is to go out and get his lightsaber basically, which is I thought that was awesome because they never discuss that like they do but they very little discuss how Sith get their lightsaber even in the classic texts. Like seeing I just started reading the first issues to play. Yeah, cuz he just came in there killed the clone troopers for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And then stole the lightsaber a green lightsaber yeah but yeah this is pretty good so far like i said i like this one this one is not as good as the laroca one but it is very good in my opinion i i really enjoy this run uh the writing isn't as good in the he's story a, he's, but the he's a lawyer he used to be a lawyer that's charles that's why they had him do daredevil that's funny but yeah if I, you read daredevil there's a lot of you know, those court sessions remember where he's yeah where he's to, doing this and that i mean so there's there's, there's a some lot background there. right there you could tell already. oh yeah that's what, it kind of fell off to me though on that the series. daredevil one yeah i, I don't off after... i don't like reading that kind of stuff it's boring to me you know like... i'm all right but it, you gotta add like i said you can't do one thing you can't just do exposition and story you have to do exposition and story and action with consequence that's why i like black hammer even though it was mostly about the story right it was also about the actions yeah. that they take as superheroes, right? The whole thing with, uh, what's his name, Reginald or Colonel or Colonel Weird, Colonel Weird killing what's his name? The whole thing uh, with what's with that the... was actually her. 
Was it really? Yeah, because I didn't know that until they actually said it at the end. Like, somebody killed her. They used her in, the, in there. And I was like, oh, it was a girl. I thought it was a, a dude. This yeah, whole I thought time it was a dude, too. It was, uh, it what was, was this? Talkity, talkity, walkity? Walkity right? talk, yeah. Walkity talk? I think it was, let's see. I thought it was talkity, walkity. It might be talkity, walkity. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a girl. Wow, that's dumb. That's just crazy. You never know that stuff until like they're just putting in that one word, and you're like, oh, okay, hmm. I did not expect that. I thought it was a man this whole time. <laughs> I don't even really meant dysfunctional family. Yeah, they are for sure dysfunctional. Family. Oh yeah, that's their whole shtick. The fuck, he's dumb as hell. He should be one of the first goddamn. There we go. Lucy that's better. Barb alien. Yes, yes. Heard a weird slam. talkie walkie. There goes talkie walkie, not talkity walkie. Click on it real quick. I just want to see if it, if they do do say it's a it's a she. Oh god, character. Here's in 12 issues. Doesn't really say. Is it? This is a shitty wick. Very unhappy with that. I, I, that one actually deserves its own Wikipedia page. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> I will say it does have a very. Uh, it takes the classic, you know, tropes, but it, like you said, it's it's about story and things. So like, there's got to be drama. And action involved. It can't just be about. Should read the newest issue of it? No, I haven't checked it out. The newest issue. It's not even really. It, it's, yeah, the it's run, a, the Black kind of Hammer, uh, it's, it's, Age of Doom, or yeah. whatever. They got so yeah, much like stuff going. S they're Secret doing Origins, it. the event. They got a. They got a bunch running. I've been for reading it. yeah some of the other ones. I didn't read Sherlock Frankenstein, but I am reading the other one they're doing. Oh, that's why they wanted to give me Doctor Star. In the Kingdom of Lost Tomorrows. Huh. That's weird. I didn't that I didn't know it was there either. Quantum, Quantum Age, that's yeah. the one I'm reading too. That's like the fu the future <coughs> right. superheroes of them. But I thought that was interesting cuz cuz like I said you got to have both. People want drama and action. Yep. No one wants to sit and will listen to exposition for a fucking hour. Any show, any comic, any like and that's why I think most of them have a good combo. You know, there's a there's a good amount of character development story as well as action and like thing like uh, which the one the, the new Punisher one right so they got a new run on the Punisher again because they have to start his run over every 15 issues cause, well, uh, uh, yeah I don't know why they did that when they should have just because it was the same it's the same writer Matthew Rosenberg everything yeah it's the same every we, fucking thing almost um, they're not even changing storyline or anything. They're continuing directly from Hydra Punisher. It's really, it all it is is seriously just to give more people to hop on, like a jumping it on is. point for The somebody. other thing is they did that whole fucking uh, war Iron machine. Uh, War Machine. Which, now they're done with it. Which I'm fine. And, it was now, a cool short But thing. now in this one, I heard they're kind of taking the Punisher not to take him street level still. They're kind of still making him think that bigger Right, which I'm mindset. okay with. He's done bigger stuff before. It's not like he's always limited to street level. He focuses street level, but I'm, which is what he's doing in this one. He's just fighting Hydra. He's not street level. He's well, going, that makes sense well, why he would fight Hydra now. Cause he, yeah, that's his whole shtick he, is he wants revenge against Hydra for fucking they, tricking him. Yeah. Cause, and that's his whole thing is like no one and that was the whole part of the black or of the War Machine run was pe you know basically the superhero community telling him no one forgives you for this shit. No one, no one accepts your bullshit excuses. You know, you. What was his reasoning hype. again? It was he just was trusted his... Cap. It's all about Cap. That's what he said. Yeah, he it was, was like, like yeah. I believed you. And he's like, you should have believed in the mission. <laughs> or it was some shit like that. He said, he's like, don't blame me for that. Didn't they bust him out now? Ooh. Steve. Oh, Steve. I think he who busted them out. Uh, I, I forgot what this is. Hydra, but it was Somebody in the Punisher issue, I think. Yeah, because he was the one that... Yeah, he was like, going to kill him. He was on his way to kill him, I remember. He's, like, breaking into the prison to go murder him. Which, you know, I probably would, too. But, yeah, especially if I were the Punisher. I don't know. I, I really liked a lot of the writing they've been doing with him, but they need to focus. Focus, 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 focus. I like, like the last, like, the Punisher stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. when he was fighting that, uh... He was doing Dictator. all the drugs. That was a good run. 
with the instead of the war, right before War Machine. Oh, the with um, Steve Dillon. He was writing for a little, or not writing, but he's yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the the, ra- the Rage or whatever, the Rampage. That was a good run. I like that. I one. think that mostly was due to uh, the art of Steve Dillon. <laughs> or not the art of uh, actually tell you the truth I didn't like it until I, I seen the the last one of the last panels on, I can't remember which issue but it was that old lady who yeah where she's passing that away was real, I don't even know if it was passing away I think it was just the first time he met this old lady really oh. and then like she yeah the way he just did the detail on her face and I really like good. a lot of people are always like he does boring I didn't like like, Fra- like Frank Miller's face in that one for some reason oh, like, yeah. he had like that weird buzz cut kind oh of yeah they made on. I don't know I think he looked more like Frank than he does in a lot of the newer ones but he does draw with his style, and his style is gritty and realistic. Yeah. And that's what people were complaining. He has these boring backgrounds, and I'm like, go to your house and tell me how exciting your wall is real quick. I almost guarantee you, most houses, it's pretty fucking boring. It's probably yeah. one color, maybe a couple pictures, if you're lucky. Poster, some some shit on the wall. Is it really that? Is it great? Or do you have, like, vaulted ceilings and... I doubt it. I really doubt it. Yeah. So like, why does every picture have to be this enormous spread? It was like, no, it can just be a house. It but that was a good house. run. I liked it. I, I did. Liked all I don't the... know. I really like his art though. He he does a real good job of getting like the gritty, ugly side of people into his yeah, drawing. That he, was good. You f- you feel like the evil inside. No, my people favorite he's part yeah too is when you seen that guy's face too, like how oh, yeah. crazy and like yeah, he's he just was. Like, yeah, I like how tweaked out he was. You know, oh, yeah. he good. Like I said, he draws tweakers and, like, those emotions of negativity he was probably one of the better artists for. He could put ugliness into a character without making them ugly. You know what I mean? Like, just by the way they looked, he could make the character feel like a bad person or feel kind of disgusting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I definitely will miss his art style and his style of telling, like, it was very unique. I haven't seen anything like that. I have his run, that run before he had passed out. That oh, run. yeah. And I just read it. It, it hit me, too, because I had read Preacher, like, right before I read that run. Because so I still need to read Preacher. How many oh, how many issues is that? 30 or something. Really? The whole run? It's seriously not that big. No. It has to be Preacher. longer than that. It might be, like, 60. Have you been watching the show? I haven't watched Oh, the show. my gosh. Okay, Alondra. it's got 60. That is a show you must watch I, When today. I watched the first one... It was a bad interpretation. Why? Oh, because you read the book. Though. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing. I've read the, the book, so is, the though, interpretation. The thing of the is, characters though, they already like, said that they were gonna yeah. not start from the beginning. They were gonna kind of start right. in the middle. And and that's and they didn't even start in the middle. They started right at the same spot the comic starts. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah, but it's just not a very good interpretation. I just love it. It's I, so I'll, good. I'll check it out. You have to keep the, watching it. I think my I think... standards are too high because of the comic. The comic is so much better than the show. That it's tough for me to. Watch. I read a little bit. I think I got like a free I, preview I, they gave me. You can check time. it out. It it does have more than that. I thought it only had like thirty or forty, but, but it's actually like it? sixty. Yeah, I knew it was longer than that. But longer like, than that. and then they know. made Tulip. Uh, yeah, she, I didn't know she was white in the comic. Yeah, that's not really the. I problem. don't care. I'm just saying yeah, that. Those really are little the things thing. I never knew. Yeah, that that one isn't even the, like my issue. My issue with the thing is one, it's hard for them to do as dark and gritty as this is. They try. They try. It's oh, it's not. it's gritty. It's in not. Some of the shows. It's oh. not even close. Trust me, you got to read more. I just love they're, they're, the... Most of the scenes in the comics are people getting their heads blown off and looking into their brains. Oh, yeah. They're, it, it's second season, bro. You, you The, 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 the All Father... I don't know if they put that in the comic, but the All Father, should they show a scene where he like sits on homie's face and he's like, there's this guy. Are you the one that... Because they have that one guy, the... I forget his name, the bald-headed dude with the uh, jacked-up eye. I forget his name, but anyways, he's part of the Holy Grail, and he tries to like um, get the Jesse Custer to be the Messiah and stuff. And then they have they have Jesus, who's supposedly the, or not Jesus, but they have his son, who's you know yeah, mentally shot, retarded because he yeah they he has, shot way off of the story in season two. See that none of that shit's in the see see. I, but the thing is, like, it's sixty issues. Can you? I mean, do you do you have that? Can you put all that in there to make a big old show? Or do I mean, you, do you honestly, more, the I guess? whole first series, from what I see, I have to read the, the first season, never made it past. past and they're still talking the about Genesis and how, yeah, and how God left the world right now, and they're trying to find him and why he left right now, and how do, how God is see, like that this. is in line with it, but and yeah, they, yeah, they talk about Genesis and stuff like that, but yeah, right now they're they're on the season where. Uh, all the everyone's trying to get Genesis, so they have 
the the Satan and everyone now also coming from hell trying to get Jesse because yes they they definitely did their own spin on it none of that's in there at all there's no devil uh, involvement none of that shit uh, you should like look said, it up then what's the the char- the same the same characters yeah I would just look it, it up it sounds like after season one all the way up until the end of days where uh, what's it here star yeah. Because they even have Hitler in there too. They have Hitler in the comics. Oh hell no! Yeah, they have Hitler. Hitler they the have movie. Hitler in the, in I, the I, show. It's been a little. I guarantee there was no Hitler in the comics. Yeah, Hitler's in there. See, they had the whole real uh, descendant of Jesus thing, and then I think after that it changes. They have Cassidy, yeah, and they're Cassidy's, Cassidy's in there. part of the first. Like he oh, shows like up He's in like good. the first chapter or the second chapter. He's funny good character in that show for that's sure. probably the most accurate best part of the show and from what i saw was cassidy he's m- the most accurate part and then yeah i don't think they've ever made it to dixie fried well actually they did go to uh, new orleans yeah to meet the voodoo priest yep yep to block yep so they're probably at war of sun right now Let's see, what does it say? Jesse and company had to the mountain. You tell where Jesse tends to ingest pee out to try and trigger a vision. Yeah, see that? Yeah, we haven't seen that yet. So they're probably finishing up still right there, right before that. Yeah. But as far as that, there's no Hitler or any of that crap up here. Yeah, they even have a guy called the Saint Killer in there. The Saint Killer's in there. Saint Killer is one of the best parts of the... Thing. Yeah, he's in there. He's uh, a... I've read his name. He's supposed to be Saint of Killers. Or yeah, I killers. think that's what they call him. Yeah, they just but that for short they just call yeah, him Saint, Saint Killer, Killer real quick. And but, he's supposed to have a gun that can kill God. I don't think it talks about that, but they did say something about his gun being very special. Yeah, they they it's that they could like yeah, and he, he, everything he was shooting is like going through everything, like it just kept going and going. That's funny. This one, it's like right, like the gun just he killed it. Like, here, let's see if I can find it. And that's why, like I said, I don't, even in private things, like the stuff I saw, it's just not as gruesome as what was in the, uh, but it's hard. It's hard to, it takes. That's why I said, like, it's only, like, say, yeah, 60 issues and, like. Well, not even that. It'd be hard to get the money to make the visuals for some of the shit they're doing. I mean, they fuck people up in this one. Well, they're, the last scene, you missed it. They, he kills the All Father, and the All Father blows up and guts are everywhere, and. That's interesting. They do it in the story. And then the All Father sits on people's heads and smashes their heads until they burst because he's so fat. That's funny. <laughs> so like this is one of the typical ones for theirs. Yeah, they show some pretty. See, that's the yeah, that's the guy, the one with the messed up eye. That oh, one. Okay, that's the guy you're looking for. See, but yeah, they show some some messed up sh- sh- uh, shit basically. Where I don't even pull him on here. What the fuck? See, there's that guy. They haven't showed him yet. I don't think so. He's. I don't think they, that's bullseye. <laughs> this guy. Says, like, yeah, they have ass face looking like that too. He at does look got, like that. At least they did that. Like this is the typical brains out, blood. Spurting. I mean, you have to probably watch a few of the episodes because there is some pretty gruesome stuff. I guess I saw some decent ones. There's even this is just that's average though. This this is every other three pages. That's regular. The gruesome shit is like what's his fucking name? Is that the what's not the. I heard they redid a lot of it, but not like I said. It's so tough for them. You to have to, yeah, this. watch it and just like tell me what you think the whole thing. Really, honestly. Yeah, it's just tough trying to get past that first episode. Was uh... see, this is the guy you're talking yes, about. Yes, right? all father. Yeah. yeah, he sits on people's heads and fucking busts their heads open. So I don't remember if he busted people's head like that in the thing. I think he just fucking squished people. Where the hell is it though? They don't have the real fat guy. I'm somewhat surprised they don't have the... They, Seth Rogen's the one that does it, too. That's why it has a little comedy in there. At least it has some comedy, which is good, because the original one has some decent comedy. And I think that was my other thing, is some of the visual depictions. Cassidy's probably one of the funniest ones in there. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they do show Cassidy getting messed up all the time. That's I saw him. Are you sure? Did you finish the whole first episode? Oh yeah, they saw him. Did you see up. that episode? Did you see that part where he fell from the sky and then oh, he yeah. just like busted everywhere? <laughs> yeah, that one's a light core. That's light core splash horror. That's the thing. No one does viscera. Everyone does blood and no viscera. 
Because it's, 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 it's obscene. It's rough to look at. Like, I'm trying to even think of ones that do, but there's very few even movies that do that shit. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a show, too, so they can't really That's go. That's what I'm saying. They don't have the money to do the shit that they would like. They, they'll they do gore and blood splash, but to do viscera takes a lot of, a ton of money. To recreate brains splattered on the floor, or tendons and shit sticking out. Well, they show tendons in the last, yeah, you should watch that episode. That was a crazy episode, because... She literally blew up and there was like, oh, and this is so, like, literally, bro, this is how I tell you this, disgusting, because his intestines were hanging, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, and his soul, Jessica's her soul, was, he had put it up in his ass, the the priest. Oh, okay. And you can see, and they're all trying to, like, like hear something, like, farting a little bit, and it's his asshole, right, with the intestines hanging right here, and there's the yeah. soul popping out. That's funny. And then, yeah, there's blood everywhere on the floor, and they're all trying to fight for it, trying to get their getting guts and everything all over their face, and homie tries to choke him with his intestines and their ribs, and... That's funny. <laughs> so, I mean, there is a couple scenes you're like, ooh, okay, that's a... At least they did that one. That one sounds like the only scene I've, I've seen out of, like, two or three episodes where they got close to the level of viscera and gore they have. Yeah, there's, there's a couple. Because there's like at that. least one scene like that every chapter. <laughs> every chapter so, where it's just someone either been blown the fuck apart or like I know one is like someone like sticking something through their head or their brain while the hole's there. I think there was one scene where they had told him that he uh, told the guy to suck his dick. Yeah, was, <laughs> was, I mean there's that but there's like There's a lot of yeah, scene stuff in there that's for sure but it's a good show. I mean, you should just watch it. Just see yeah, what I'll you think. It out. Like I said, I, it, it was tough for me to get past the first episode. So Maybe I'll after you get done with the again. first one, the second one will be a little bit better. I don't know. I, I'll just have to check them. It was, it's also rough because I think a lot of the media that gets transferred over, they don't transfer it right. You, you can't make a comic book exactly like you would make it as a no, TV show. No. It just doesn't work. It doesn't always. As I've never seen it work once. They've never done it, so I've never seen it. Because it just... Seen Giant... I Kill Giants? I still haven't read it. Oh, I gotta read it. that book, and the movie was so good. Was it? Spot on to the book. Like, literally, like, even seeing the scene some parts. Like, I've seen scenes and stuff, but that's not the same as and doing... And the a, same story, that, same, It's still not like, the same, same as same telling girl. the story the same way. Like I said, like, when you go through the comic, you're going through page to page, week to week, or in one sitting... Yeah. When you go through and there the was movie, just there was just a few shots, maybe like eight, eight twelve issues. But I think we're probably pretty much, done, much huh? yeah, it's about four thirty. So oh, we're yeah. probably got to get you out of here. Yep. Well, thanks everybody who watched or checks this out later. We hope you enjoy the reviews and stuff. We're gonna try to have more artist spotlights next week or another one, as well as uh, open up some new sections of the show. Probably some review stuff or some evaluation. Uh, and then we'll, as always, have the trailers, and uh, yeah, we'll hopefully do the giveaways Keep soon going. at some point. September looks like it'll be better. Yeah, that's year. the thing. We've been uh, been pretty dry these last the couple Predator. months. Predator. Predator. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I was I'm thinking like, of doing that. Have you seen the newest trailer? The what? The newest trailer? Mm, the newest I'll show it to you before we leave, but yeah, yeah it actually it. made me feel like it's going to be more action-y, more than which, hard, which I'm actually more excited for Here's the to thing, be. like... I think it needs to go that I route. think the original Predators weren't that great And it great wasn't hard, either. Horror. It was more of like an action really man was. flick. It really was. It, it's, it's splice horror. It's action horror. Like, yes, there's horrible things, but it doesn't focus on scaring you or intimidating you. It's No, it's focused on this is the Predator... This he is a hunter. It's about the hunt. Yes. It's about the, the. It's like oh my god, he's invisible. Holy shit. Oh my god, he has infrared vision. Did you see him? He just cut his chest open and, and stuffed <laughs> some shit in and burned it shut. He's a badass. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like that was like especially after Predator Two, I feel like they were less like the Alien movies where it's more about like is it around this corner? Is it around? It's above me. It's always yeah. above me. Mm -hmm. Every time, no one looks up. So we'll see, but we'll see what happens to Predator after this because Disney now has the rights to Alien. Which everyone's <laughs> that, that's the only other thing we didn't cover, and it's mostly because I don't want to get into the politics of the whole Guardians of the Galaxy thing. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I I, I forgive the guy James Gunn, I and no I problem. feel I feel really bad for him. What's done to him, and just like I do. At really, the same time, I would never. Up like, in that decision, I feel like that's something. Ten that, years, like you know, he apologized that's before stuff, he even got on to Disney. 
that, that I will say that's a little bit on Disney for not checking that. No, and they knew. You. No, people said they knew. Did you, there is no way that Disney did not know about yeah, that. You'd be surprised. They they only know what they're willing to admit and, they know on paper. Well, the thing is, like, he came out publicly and, and apologized. You don't think I've business... never heard about that. That's yeah. the thing. That was so quiet, and that's why I don't accept it. Ah. I've never heard a single thing about this before this. I've never heard about him apologizing before this. And honestly, like I said, I've read the tweets and the things. I don't see the joke. It no, honestly I don't see the joke, sick too. and twisted. It and, is twisted. And, but... and there is no amount of time that could go by from him saying those things for them to be all right. And, but you got to say, too, in, like 2008 was no, a time. No, he could have said it in and 1908, there's, there's and even, it wouldn't have been okay. There's even guys like Tosh.0 who say even just as bad things I can't even believe I, are Like still I said, I don't support him either. I'd kick his, I'd have his ass but pulled off everything. There's people but he's, that, that's the thing. He don't work for Disney. jokes funny. That's totally fine. <laughs> Guess what? I don't, and Disney obviously doesn't. No. And honestly, like I said, that particular subject matter is not a joking matter. People who joke about it, they're like, oh, they're doing it to raise awareness. No, when you joke about something, you lighten the issue. You're yeah. making light of the issue. If you wanted to make them known, then you should use your clout as a public speaker and as a comedian, whatever you are, and use your prominence to spread the message that that is not okay it's not funny it's not like i said i as much as i feel bad yeah 10 years ago i never want that guy to be associated with anything children does ever for now till the end of time mm. that is not something that one just goes away that is not something that two is okay to joke about or whatever like i said is like all right 10 years ago how old was he a 30 year old man 20 year old man too old to be joking about fucking little kids yeah, that's what you mean. But like I said, there's, like I said, there's other things. Like there, there back is, in 2008, people were making those jokes too. And who? who? I've never heard anyone make a joke like that, or I would have definitely called them out on their bullshit. It was a different bullshit. time in 2008. I really don't think it was. I said the only joke I've ever heard about pedophilia that was funny was about killing the pedophile. Yeah. It's the only time I've ever laughed, and that was and a Christopher Titus joke. Which I, was I his still joke. wouldn't laugh at that either. See, I, and see, <laughs> that, and that's, that's, and that's the thing. You got to say too, jo- people... Right, jokes there are subjective. But there are things, yeah, well, children things. are not subjective. No, I know. Children are young and it's like I said, this is one thing for me. And the other thing is people piss me off by comparing it to Robert Downey Jr.'s drug use. And, it, and oh, that is that, nothing. Yeah, but... That is not. There is no way comparable between drug use and pedophilia. Even possible pedophilia and confirmed drug use. There's no even slight comparison that you can make to me that's all right. If you think those two are interchangeably bad, then for me, your morals are skewed. I don't even want to deal with you, talk to you, be around you. Mm. I think you're a warped person who doesn't understand that children have the sanctity to not have people touching on them. I say that, and that's why I didn't want to talk about it because it's a very delicate issue for me. I have several uh, family members who were molested, touched, raped by close people and non-close people. I think that it's a deplorable act that shouldn't be joked about. And that's probably why a lot of, of people are on his side because it was not that he physically did anything, right? Which but that's is different fine. from physically, it, but it's actually saying condoning something. it, yeah. joking about it, it makes light of it, and condones it. So as much as he can say it's a, a joke, still guess what? You're side. still accountable for your joke. I know there are, and they're never gonna win because there's equally amount of people on the other side. Yeah. For every person who wants James Gunn but to sign just, the petition, but there's you a person think, though, like, like me screaming, don't let that pedophile back into the industry. It's just crazy to think like, that there was so many people still on the side that they made the petition for him. Oh, yeah, and, 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 and now people and are even starting all the actors, to bash those people. Even all the actors. Oh, yeah, and now people are starting that. to bash those people, saying, like I said, I think people it's who a, defend pedophiles half, might be pedophilic. Half, like I said, there's half, half. as many people who want him back as there are that don't want him around. Yeah. For every single person, like, and I've been quiet about it but now i go on every single post and tell them keep that pedophile out of my movies keep him away from my stuff keep him away from disney no they're gonna put him in dc so he ain't going away dc's gonna take oh that's him. not in marvel cool that ain't in disney and, and honestly <laughs> that's pretty much in line with their and choices he's got some other things to do too oh he's, he's got blood yeah he's to that's do. the thing he's, he's fine this hasn't ruined his career at all Which i don't is know good. why Glad everybody's that everyone's, he's yeah i'm, still I'm work. fine that he's doing his thing i'm also 100% okay with him not being on Marvel. I'm 100% with, okay with them replacing the cast of Guardians of the I Galaxy. I won't watch it. I'll watch it. I'll watch the <laughs> shit out of it. It won't be the same. It might be better. Honestly. Mm. Like I said, I'll watch the, the shit that, out He was it. the one that actually brought the Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy that nobody even thought were going to even work he, in the first place. I think place. he thinks that he like 
pioneered this idea. He didn't. He's just the director that got handed an no, idea. I just think that he did a good job. Of he did a fine job, really but he's outrageous and different yeah. characters that nobody. I think a, anybody a tree, done it. I don't think a, that was a, him. A rocket, the, raccoon, so Star Lord. He's the director. And as much as I like directors and say they help make a good story, and I'll say and that. he wrote the script, though, the first one and the yeah. second one. He even was doing the third one. He rough drafted the oh, second yeah. script. Oh, yeah, and that's why it might not that's make it. That's why I say he did do a lot of the work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. Like I said, but, they'll fire I mean, him. if they do fire, fire all of them, them, then I'll... But really, I probably won't watch it. because You probably won't. Good. I Guess what? Me and about half of the other people, I'm still going to go watch it. That's fine. And I, I might just... That's my thing. It was like... Don't for get every me either, but I just no, say I'm just, just saying, saying like if you for want the, to watch it, watch it. I'm no, just saying, I'm just saying though for the thing, like everyone's making this whole big deal about it, but it's but not even a big I, but deal you're to him. Make a more big deal. I'm oh, not. I'm, I'm just I am saying. because people make light of it, hmm. the wrong parts. Like I said, everyone's okay with uh, everyone has him apologizing. It, everyone has it their does. Opinions. They do, and uh, like you I said, change that's, people's opinions. Nope. Which is why he's not getting his job. back. That's fine. But at least he's still getting jobs. That's that's I'm still that's fine for him. Like. As I said, I, I didn't think he was that great before. Maybe he'll bring and I don't DC need... back by going over there. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that's Maybe he'll actually be... do like better said, stuff for honestly, them than what they're doing now. I don't think he could do worse. How about that? Um, if And if anything, it doesn't look like his uh, his presence is going to hurt it. You know, the like I said, as much as people are like, oh, we'll bring James Gunn back, you know, they, they didn't ruin his life. He's got plenty of more directing no. opportunities. He's got plenty of more things. This isn't going to change anything but what people think about him. Mm. And, like I said, I as much as people Same like, he apologized. Same thing for the now, too. He just got bashed, too, for some really outrageous oh, stuff yeah. he put He's, on. And I've always said Diane Harmon's a punk-ass bitch. <laughs> Even though he made a good show, that don't make him a good person. And it's the same for the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. Those are good movies. That doesn't make James Gunn a good person. That, and vice versa, him being, even if he was a bad person doesn't make the movies bad by proxy no what you do is is but not do, always a reflection i do go by what they what the actors say who've been working with them for the longest time That's, and say they say that hey, he's a good person he's a good person he does the, we, which is for fine. working with this guy we see nothing like that we've seen that he has changed from the times that yeah. i mean to me like those like things i said it's I one of those see. things like he should have never been hired in the first place i can't believe they hired him if they did they knowing did. that they know they knew but Bro, it's obvious, Disney. I'm sure they did. Disney but is not paper, gonna not know. They knew. They fucking knew. Uh, <laughs> just like DC knew all its movies were gonna do bad. <laughs> they don't know everything. Mm, they really the don't. the internet. If the th- okay, if that guy was able to bring ten years worth of tweets back from right, the life, he went to go you're get telling it. me Disney cannot go do some research. I'm sure on they their could, guys that but that's some. not their thing. They're, you they don't think they do research they on the guys before they hire them? They might, and they might not them? get all of it. Like I said, you, you're acting like they do an FBI investigation. I would if it's them. Disney. If you're telling so, me that they're making I kid guarantee stuff, they don't though because then you couldn't hire half. But the if people. they're making kid movie stuff, you would. Right, but now now you're now you're on my side though because you're saying that that shouldn't be allowed. But I'm saying though, it's been this one that never happened. But that's fine. And that scene they found out later, and even if they knew later they got caught, guess what? That still means he shouldn't be working at Disney. He shouldn't no, be fine, working at Kids Movie. It would have never happened if Disney would have just said, oh, hey, we uh, we knew about this. We're not going to hire you. <laughs> I mean, that's true, too, but then he ought, wouldn't have got the first two jobs. Like I said, the, Disney's actions only help James Gunn, not hurt James Gunn. Like, the, James Gunn is suffering the actions of his own. By no actions of Disney's did James Gunn get fired. He got fired because somebody else brought to light that he made fucked up posts in the past. And like I said, as much as people say he apologized, I never heard a fucking word about this. So it was kept under... Like I said, that's fine. Did you know before? Ten years ago? No. Because no, he probably, it, yeah, because exactly. I didn't know who James Gunn was. Oh, who, did you gonna, know when you watched the second one? I, was, How about I the first? wasn't even in high school ten years ago. All right, what, was, about the first what about the first Guardian? What about the first Guardian or the second Guardian? There's been two or three movies. Did you hear about this after those movies? No, we only hear about it now. Why is it ten because years before? Because somebody brought it back. Up. Exactly, but why? then they say, and oh, he already apologized he, for it, but I've never heard about an apology. They've never brought it up. He doesn't make it a point to say it, is it? So yeah, honestly, he, he, he was, said that he made an apology. That's why that's he the thing. Said. But I've never heard of it. I've but never heard of the issue at all. So obviously, you didn't either until this came up. No, I knew. So that, nobody that because it was so, no, I didn't know until he said. That's I exactly it up myself, my point. Like, that's my point. Nobody knew. He's, he's basically hidden it in the past and trying to pretend that it didn't happen. He's not out there taking responsibility for his actions. Come why on. Why would you want to bring that back? I'm up? not. Uh, you should. <laughs> that's the thing. But it's gonna be brought up. 
So yeah, would you want to address that's it? That's why he brought it up the first time. But and he apologized did it, before he, he went to Disney. Did, no. uh, if you say so, man. I'm saying I'm happy Gun's gone. Thank God they got that pedophile mm. out of Disney. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Axel. See you later, man. <laughs>